Hello everyone and welcome back to Bleach Ray Souls, where today we're going to talk about the mid-month banner coming up tomorrow or the day after that. Uh, let's see, we're going to go, there we go, 13 court card squad summons the respect and affection. We have Rukia, Isane, and then Kione, Santaro combination. So yeah, they're available on the 16th, which I believe is tomorrow. Until the 30th, which is going to be the end month banner, um, coming out after this, if there even is an end month banner. But, uh, yeah. So we have Rukia, who is green. She is a spiritual pressure focus of 790, a hollow killer. Uh, she does immense damage and inflicts freeze. Uh, hopefully there should be a video, I should say, playing, maybe. <laughs> Uh, showing their strong attacks and all that stuff, um, depending on the character I'm talking about. So she has Bruiser, Frenzy, Debilitator, Freeze, Berserker, Devastation, and Sprinter. So that's going to be Rukia. We have Kione and Centauro. Uh, they are also Spiritual Pressure. They're both Spiritual Pressure because you can... As you can probably see from the video, they can kind of switch between one and the other. Uh, they're Soul Reaper Killer. They do Paralyses. And yeah, they have Inflict Damage, Low Stamina, plus 30%. So it's whatever, honestly. We have Bruiser, Devastation, Sprinter, Fire Duration, Frenzy, Debilitator, and Strong Attack Recharge. Well, okay. That makes it a little bit better. So that way they technically have strong attack recharge, but then they're not... Personally, they're not going to be all that great as a soul link. So we have Isane, who is also a spiritual pressure, who is 786. She's an Aronkar killer. She also inflicts paralysis and does immense damage. Strong attack recharge time minus 12 as a soul straight. She does Bruiser, Frenzy, Double Terror. She recovers the 20% stamina, Berserker, Devastation, and then Sprinter. Something I forgot to mention about these guys, Kion and Centaro, is that they their strong attack tree, uh, 3 causes them to switch between one and the other. But yeah, that's pretty much all about that one. And Isane. Her strong attack 1 kind of seems like a recycled version of Lisa, the past version, like the blue one. So, yeah. <laughs> we have the other characters are the fillers. We have Hiyori, uh, Kenpachi, Yoruichi, Shunsui, Yamachika, and Momo. So, personally, from all of these filler characters, I have everybody except Hiyori. And I really, really want Hiro because I really love Fiori as a character. But, there you go. So, if it comes out tomorrow, I'm probably going to end up doing, like... Probably one summon, that's pretty much it. But, yeah. Actually, I'm, there's another thing I want to talk about. We have the Lamentation summon coming also tomorrow at the same time. And, but this one's only going to 19th instead of 30th, like the other one. Which is, you know, Nelio. Which I really, really want. However, if you noticed on the 13 Court Guard Squad Summons, they're a double chance, as you can see down here. So you have a likely chance to get the character, but on the Nelio banner, it's a regular 3% chance. So yeah, Nelio's going to be there, Sajin, which I already have, is going to be there, and Orihime, which I also have, is going to be there. So, I'm going to leave it to you guys to pretty much decide who it is that you want me to choose, or who, who do you want me to summon for? You want me to go for the Nelio on the Lamentation summons, or do you want me to go for... I mean, I guess technically Rukia would be the best one for me, but I don't know. I don't really have a preference as to who I want. I guess Rukia because she's a ranged character, but, you know, 
You want me to go for the Nelio banner, or you want me to go for the 13 core squad, uh, squad banner? So yeah, it's basically up to you guys. Just let me know in the comments below, or somewhere. And yeah, when the banner comes out, I'll see if anybody said anything. If not, I'll probably wait. Actually, here, here's what I'm going to do. Since this banner goes away on the 16, or on the 19, sorry. I will wait to summon on any banner at all until pretty much the 18th. So that's pretty much like two days. So you'll have today when the banner or the video gets posted, which should be the uh, 15th, the 16th, and then the 17th. On the 18th, I will look at the video and see if there's any comments or anything uh, telling me which banner to pull. Even if there's only one comment saying, you know, go for the Nelliel or go for the Rukia or whatever. I will do that banner. But if there's no comments, then I'll probably decide at a later time which one to do. If I even choose to do any of them. So, yeah. Uh, one last thing, I'm probably going to do two, two, like one multi and then ten singles. Um, regardless of which banner it is, so keep that in mind. So, yeah. That's going to be everything. The reason I'm doing it is because I only have 1,900 orbs and I really want to have like a decent amount of orbs for either Christmas, if no, there's no end of the month on November, or New Year's, which we'll talk about at a later time. So yeah, you guys want me to summon on the Nelial or the Rukia, let me know in the bottom, uh, the comments. And yeah, anyway, until next time, bye bye.